When we're moving a 50 pound box onto our old boat, it's nice to know our website is on autopilot. So thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video and for making sure our online store runs smoothly. Hi, I'm Dana and that's my husband, Lou. For the past five years, we've been on a mission to live creatively. It all started when we quit our jobs in New York, moved abroad, bought a rusty old van named Odie, fixed him up in the mountains in Spain, drove through most of Europe, wrote a book, sold the van, and bought a sailboat. Our next goal is to circumnavigate the earth in our 1976 Rasmus 35. But first, we need to prepare Penelope for the voyage of a lifetime. So welcome to the Winter Build series. I don't even know how we're gonna get up the ladder. All right. But I thought, honestly, when I picked it up, I thought it was gonna be heavier than it is. Yeah. I feel like with two people, we should be able to manage just about like not falling off the ladder and getting it on safely and then hoping that it fits through the companion way. All right. Ooh, la, la. Holy moly. So we gotta get this guy through that little door. Companion way. best friend yeah yeah I can't believe it you want to look what I know so this is the freezer side it's interesting so it's like this side is the freezer and then this side is the fridge and I think that the compressor must be on this freezer side so the freezer side is a little bit smaller than the fridge side but that like makes sense and I feel like that's more practical it just is like so crazy to think about being in the middle of the ocean and then being able to open this and actually have cold food inside it and it's like so it's not just for crossings mm, like tough, tough. i feel like the main reason i wanted to have it was just because this way we can actually like enjoy cooking on the boat and not worrying about like leftovers going bad or we can batch cook a little bit more and like the ice box sure it was a functional system but for us it just wasn't ideal for like living aboard like maybe for a weekend or something like that but when you like live on the boat and you do all your own cooking it's like you want a fridge in a freezer so this is just gonna be i i really think this is gonna be a total game changer for the quality of life like it's not for the sailing part of it it's just for the comfort part of it but like comfort is a huge part of life and you know you're on the boat but it's nice to have like a little bit of comfort from a house this is actually our biggest water. this one is like pretty large but it's like that, it's just a mini bag of carrots just to see for size. Yeah. Like it fits a lot. And there isn't an amazing spot to put it on our tiny little boat, but we've decided that this spot here is basically the only spot it can fit. So from here over to here, yes, that means it hits the table. Yes, that means that this chair has to go. So it's going to be a major construction project, again, in the galley, transforming this space into something that's more functional for us. And I feel like last summer or last winter build, we managed the desk over here option and it improved our life so much. So I'm really hoping that this is going to do the same. And I think for like the comfort of having a big fridge and freezer, it's going to be well worth the effort, but it's a bit of a puzzle. Okay. So a little bit further. 
Try to do this one. There we go. Yeah, so that just goes in there. Scooch over. Just like that, you know, like, if only this is one of those things that you can just snap away. It's like, and snap, and it's in. <laughs> <laughs> What are we working with? That's a lot of wires there, Lou. Those are just the grounding wires. Uh -huh. It's too bad the boat like is curved. I know. It, would, it would just like sink in right nicely there, but. Oh, yeah. All right, should we start chopping? Oh, don't worry. It's going to be okay. You can chop. Yeah? Yeah. like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is where the fridge is going. Wow. Do you want to just pick up the fridge and put it there just to see? I really do. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see. No. So what are you thinking you're gonna, you want to put like a wooden thing over this? <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> so Lou's removing the handles or trying to remove the handles because they are adding space where we don't really have much room. So we put the table back on because we're trying to see like kind of what are we working with here because we're debating if we should take out this kind of slanted chunky bit. Whoa. Feels like it's already on. Ready? Yeah. Wait, what? Hey, look at that. Very marine. Compass area. Huh. Interesting. There are cobwebs. A spider has been living back here. It's like pretty crazy that this hasn't been like exposed since 1976 when they were probably building it. This is very old dust. We've just thought of another variation that could work. Because I'm trying to like salvage this as a bed. And it's like, if my head was here, yeah. then, because this, this is the um, fridge makes this higher, right? Yeah, you just have a real, like, toe stubbing hazard. Yes. Like, and this open? It opens. But you wouldn't be able to look into it from... Why? Yeah, like that. <laughs> I don't know, it's like... This way, then the table's not affected at all. Yeah, that's true. Should we bring the table back in too? <laughs> we could try. Right? Well, you can see where the mark is. Like, the table's not affected. It's... No, I know, but just for the ambiance, is it too annoying? Ooh! This table. <laughs> so, is that what you're thinking? Yeah, something like that. So, we have to build something up here, but then those both now open easily yeah the table can go down to bed functionality mm -hmm. what do you think i think it could be cool i kind of like that this is why it's like some of these projects i feel like you have to have the props like the um the fridge here because we've been talking about this and trying to figure out the best space for it but and it's we like, measured like a million times oh yeah but it's like it's like it's so physical and you have to see it in real life to understand oh. <laughs> All right, you can look up. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, wow. You like? It's beautiful. 
I'm excited to see it out of the saran wrap. Mahogany boards, Lulu. Alright, that wraps up everything we can do today. We are going to drive to a Home Depot that's like an hour away because we need to get some marine plywood for construction tomorrow. And then tonight at the house I think we'll glue the mahogany we just cut together. And yeah, tomorrow big steps could be made. I feel like the switching of the location of the fridge to keep that U shape, I'm much happier about it. I feel like the feng shui is nice. Yeah. So now I drive us to Home Depot. All clear? All clear. So this will be like one side of the fridge and then one side of the fridge the other way. Yeah. Love it. Good job. There we go. First snow of the winter. Yeah, it's kind of exciting, right? Isn't it? Yeah. Dirty keys. Yeah. I wish I had better gloves, Lou. They're in the mail. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you're the best. <sighs> it's just a cold front, though. Hopefully, in the next few days, we'll have like a little bit warmer weather because we have to do some epoxy, and it's like that's not gonna work when it's literally freezing. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> but the snow is exciting. Right? Yeah. So it's day two and we are back on Penelope and we're gonna keep going with the same project, obviously. And we have the boards glued together. So now we're gonna basically just try to put all the puzzle pieces together. We're not gonna be able to epoxy them to the floor today, probably because it will take too long to figure out where they all go, but also because it's freezing. But hopefully in two days, it will be a little warmer and we can do the full project. But I think today it will really come together and start looking more like a kitchen again versus a construction site. Putting our life in boxes Erasing the memory so you won't notice I'm taking the time to focus You're by yourself, I'm by myself Wish I could solve your problems They're stuck on my wall like neon paintings And I'm so tired of being honest Everyone by myself, I do it so well. We were so good at flying, but we can keep flying. We keep getting stuck on the wrong side of the mountain. We were so good at trying, but we can keep trying. Cause we only end up on the wrong side of the mountain. trying to do is see what the fridge looks like in this space. Lou is very good at visualizing things with it being like, oh, this is where the fridge will go. But I like to actually see them. So we're going to try to, we put the floor in and we think that the fridge is going to end up a lot higher than we expected. So that is exactly what we could do. I mean, I personally don't think it's bad that this is exposed a little bit. It's like, then you can access this. Yeah, I mean, the fridge is very strong, so you'll just be sitting on the fridge. And it's like, you don't necessarily, I mean, I guess you want the cushion for the aesthetic to have it all go around, but you also could not. I think you just make a shaped cushion that goes into here. Like, you can cut the foam, you know? Yeah, you could. Or you could just have the cushion go this section, and then this is open. 
-hmm. No cushion. No cushion. All right, so this is where we're at. The fridge is in. But as you can see, it's still a little high. So we're going to try and lower it like a couple centimeters and cut a couple support beams to put down under there. And then we'll try it out again and see if we can get it just a little bit lower. The issue is, is that with the sh shape of the hull over here coming up, this back corner there hits and we want it to be level. So we're just going to see how low we can go. I mean, that's that gives the plugs room. Fadisto. <laughs> the fridge is as low as it can go, and I'm actually like really happy with it. It's it's definitely high. It would be a high chair to like sit in, but at the same time, I think you could definitely like if there's a bunch of people over, if that ever can happen again, you could have people hanging out in here. You maybe just like wouldn't eat at the table on this one. But overall, I think it's great, and it's actually kind of nice because if it was all the way on the ground when you would use the fridge, you'd be bending over a ton. So now it's actually like a bit easier to get at. So we felt a bit more structure to support the fridge and to really bring it home we're going to use epoxy and epoxy that new structure to the hull of the boat. We don't want to put any screw holes into the hull so we thought epoxy would be a good bet. We haven't used it since our van build when we were patching some holes so fingers crossed we remember how to do it. I have like this guy hole arm in this. I don't like this job. This is disgusting. I'm going to clean up. You deal with this. Bye. I love you, oh, but like, I don't want to be stuck in this. Yeah, go wash quick. Okay. Setting quickly. Yeah. You're crushing it, Lou. Thanks, baby. So can I put it in? Uh-huh. There we go. Look Dang. at that. It's crazy how strong it is. Yeah. It's... It is not going anywhere. Wow. I'm you... really impressed. Yeah? Yeah, it's so cool. It actually is, I think, going to look really nice. Yeah, I think it's going to be great. Once we, like, sand it all and varnish it, I think it will look more, like, normal here. It's, like, obviously, right now it looks, like, too large for the space. But I think once the table's back in place, once there's cushions, I think it'll actually be really nice and, most importantly, practical, you know? Wow, that smell just brings you back, right? Ooh. Do you remember that day? Yes, I do, actually. We had holes in the bottom of our van, and we did this to fix it. This thing is coming in handy. Right? Mm-hmm. Once you buy it, you just, like, use it way more than you would. Right? This wall is not going to come out. <laughs> right? That's the idea.
Shall we put the fridge in? Yeah. Oh man, what did you think of the fire glass? It's great. It's okay, right? Good job. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Wow, babe, look at this. Oh, you just need a frozen something or a lovely refrigerated something. Yeah. Good job. Well done. It. Okay, so I think that wraps up this video on installing the fridge. Obviously, the fridge fits in the boat. We have built a shelf around it and like a container for it. It's not completely done. We still have to secure it down, varnish the um, boards so they look nice and all that good stuff to make it like lovely. But I feel like for part one of the fridge install, for the thing that I really refuse to sail around the world without, is our beautiful fridge and I'm so happy and I feel like yeah this place is really becoming our own with each thing that we change I feel like it becomes more of our home and I think that's like one of the really cool things about like DIY like remodeling projects and like just taking control of the spaces that you live in because every little alteration that you make or in this case a big alteration I feel like you take more ownership in that space and it becomes so much more like joy filled like, I remember like being in our van and looking around and being like, we built these walls. Like we put this sink in, we had put everything there. And so when you go to sleep surrounded by things that you built, it's like the most magical feeling. And so I feel like now with the fridge here, every time I open the fridge, I'll think about like the fact that we put it there and yeah, it's just a nice feeling. I feel happy or maybe I'm just high from all of the fumes <laughs> because the fiberglass is really stinky. So that's why I thought we could get out of here a little bit early today because it is so smelly in here. A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. Boat construction is a messy business, but luckily our website is easy to use, beautiful to look at, and most importantly, it just works. If you'd like to make your own online presence run smoothly, head to squarespace.com slash wildlyroam for a free trial and 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.